Hello, next community and 3D printer community. So I wanted to see if I could access the back panel of this uh, Bamboo Labs X1 carbon printer. I have now been able to tear down these extruders and I bought a, a new one and I'm still getting the same problem, right? And so I've gone through this one and I could not find any filament jammed. So my thoughts are it could be a sensor. I mean, they've got, when you, when you have to clear out the extruder, you have to unplug all these little plugs. And it seems like they should have a quick disconnect or something so that it, when you're not pulling on these little tiny wires all the time to get them out, even if you're using the right tools, it's still like it's a point of failure. And the problem is when you start taking them out, well, I had some screws bounce through here. <laughs> and so I've ordered kind of like different tools to help me. And one of the, them is this expandable magnet. So I've been kind of probing around. But I know that there was uh, a piece that fell in between. This is what they call the poop chute, right? And so I saw a piece fly down in here. And it went in, of course, the worst possible place. There's a little gap back here, and it's not metallic, and I need to figure out what that is. I'm this far into it. I've built a crap ton of computers, so I am going to continue to disassemble this and uh, take pictures, like this will help me to reassemble and figure out where all these little connectors go. Um, I really did not want to do this, but I do have a second bamboo carbon X1 printer that I can go by if I get stumped. I'm confident in my abilities to take this thing and take these panels all apart. And then that way I'm understanding how everything is put together. And for me, this is all fascinating, you know, to see, because it'll help me in the future. You've got these belts here. And this is where you, you know, you set your tensions. Um, Add in lubrication. You know, I can see how the fan works. Um, you know, now I got a handle on what's back here involved with the power supply. I had some screws that bounced and went this direction, but I'm wondering, they must have gone down into the chassis there too. So I've ordered replacement screws. I mean, this is really kind of, they could have designed this so that there's at least a little catch you know, maybe I can 3D print a part uh, so that stuff doesn't bounce through there when you're disassembling it. I find it's just, there's just so many things that I'm frustrated with right now. All I was trying to do was fix a problem of the filament going all the way into the extruder. And, I, you know, granted, this is my first 3D printer. So there's people out there that have been doing this for years, and I can see and, and feel your pain because it didn't have all this automated stuff, you know. But now I, I, I'm understanding what it's all about. Um, <laughs> as I say, I'm going to tear this down because there's parts in back of there that I can't get to, that I need to, because I don't want it shorting out all this stuff eventually. You know, um, so there you have it. I've said my piece and, uh, you know, I, I really didn't want to do this, but I, I figured out you could take all these screws off the back. I took a photo of everything. As I say, I've got another bamboo. Uh, I've got the, the little parts separated into different drawers and cups and where they go. Wish me luck. <laughs> There goes my weekend, you know. <laughs> All I want this thing to do is print, okay? <laughs> I'm not alone. You can go on Reddit. There's people that are in the same boat. What is the deal? <laughs> I bought, you know, I've got a brand new extruder, brand new hot end, and it's still jamming at the same place. I can feed through this needle, right? That's it's supposed to clear the filaments here. This little tiny needle, it goes all the way through, so there's no filament jamming. So the only other thing I can think of is a sensor gone bad. 
but it shouldn't have. I mean, you can't plug the, the connector in upside down. You know, this little connector here that comes off the extruder, there's only one way it could go in. And so the only other thing would be the, uh, this, this little sensor here that could possibly be it. Or the, or the little deal on the board. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm debating whether I should go any further. I think I might... I might just reassemble everything. And just pray tell that those parts don't cause me any grief. I can see where it's at. You know, you're talking about screws here. You got screws along the base. But I'm going to venture to guess they made, made this probably a pain. It could affect tension. You know, there's ca the way the cabling's routed. That could make a difference. Um, there was a part that fell out and looked like a cable tie, and that was from the factory. So I'm going to figure out where that went. And, uh, hey, you know, I am trying my best. I really want this to work. My heart's in it. So I'm going to open a ticket with bamboo if this whole fiasco doesn't work. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Peace out, Rob.